Hi Capricorn, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of August. Now my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. These readings are typically not for people that are, you know, in a happily ever after relationship. They usually usually when people come to watch a reading it's because they need an answer to something okay or they're looking for for help in some way um we're gonna go ahead and take these because oh there you are okay i'm not saying that you're the devil but you're that's your card represented by the sign of capricorn um these cards just fell out of the deck now it appears that you guys are probably dealing with some temptation okay in august um working on yourself feeling really good in the money arena um, feeling very abundant. There's a lot of self-love here. Um, let's see. Now you could be you could be dealing with somebody who brings you down. They you know a Debbie Downer. Just saying. Yikes! All right. So let's see. You may you have to make some sort of decision. That's for sure. I mean, this is a this is a, a card of choice. Do you take a step forward or do you stay where you're at? Now I see that you're really doing well. You know, you're doing well for yourself. You're enjoying life. Things are going really well. But I think there is another person in the mix, or another energy, which is probably be a person that is causing some sort of perhaps family feuds or um, some kind of lack of abundance within you even though you're doing great it's like they're trying to bring you down or they are bringing you down um, it looks like somebody's coming in very quickly they're coming in with some sort of communication it could be a little harsh. It could be a little brash. Um, somebody may need your help. Maybe they're looking for money. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Just be careful because somebody could be coming in trying to borrow money or something like that. Um, there's a lack of a forward movement, though. I mean, I'm not sure what this is. We're going to have to get some clarifiers. Interesting. Yeah, somebody may be coming around looking for money. Just beware, you know, because that's pretty evident. But let me get this zoomed in. I see that you guys are, are really, really doing well. You guys are, are happy. It's like, no, I'm not worried about anybody at this time. I'm worried about my own happiness, and I'm, I'm feeling really good about where I am at. Maybe you guys are scheduling travel, or you're scheduling vacations, or you're, you're thinking about where you want to go in this world. I think that you guys are going through a period of solitude, introspection. You know, and you're doing very well in that in that period. You know, it's like I I like where I'm at. I don't really need somebody to come in here and completely I'm complete where I'm at. But you may be tempted. Okay, it looks like you may be tempted to to do something. We're gonna get a clarifier fire on that. If somebody is coming in to communicate. They see that you're doing well. They may be asking for money, or they may just not. They may. You know, come in not really asking for money, but that's what their ulterior motive is. So be careful. This King of Wands is somebody that is greedy and self-centered. So, and sneaky as hell in reverse. So beware. You could be dealing with a person that comes in with, you know, selling you um, bullshit. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You know, I feel as though you will be receiving some sort of communication. Somebody will probably be asking you for something you know they're going to be asking you for either they're going to ask you to help them use your skills you know or they're going to ask you for outright money you know i don't know what this is but we're gonna we're gonna get some clarifiers here i wonder what this devil card is the very first card that's temptation that's lust that's manipulation it's some sort of um Ooh, 
you could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have fire, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Virgo here. Um, anyway, I feel like you, you are going to have to be a real good judge in this matter, a good judge of character. Act logical, okay? Because somebody may come in and... And this is what this is. It feels like somebody's coming in and they, they may act like it's all about, you know, that they're really attracted and that they're really, you know, wanting a love partnership. But it's not. It's not. It's a lie. It's lust. It's greed. It's it's um, some sort of manipulation. I think somebody is coming in to manipulate you, Capricorn. That's what they're trying to do. And for those of you, I'm going to say this one more time. This is reading for Capricorn okay so we're not gonna flip it okay this is how what this is what's happening for the sign of Capricorn this is how they are feeling this is what's going on in their lives you may not be the only person in their life okay I feel like somebody is coming in and they're going to try to manipulate you and it does have to do with money okay it does so be prepared. Um, be prepared to make a judgment call, to act logical in this situation. I think they see your abundance. They see that you're enjoying life. They see that you're doing well. There's a lot of, they have, res I mean, they don't have respect, but you have respect for yourself. But this person is trying to manipulate you. Yeah, it doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It doesn't lead to, to happily ever after, whatever this is. So beware, beware. You are going to have to make a decision and make sure it's a wise one, okay? Take a time out. If somebody comes in and you're doing really good and they come in to sell you something that isn't even real, are you, be sure that you realize that this may not be real. You could be dealing with an untrustworthy individual who is only after your money. So, so keep that in mind. I mean, that's what I see. This could even be a family member. I'm not sure. It could be a family member. It could be um, anybody. Yes, this is this is uh, somebody comes in to sweep you off your feet, but they don't really have any follow through. Okay, they don't. This, you know, they may come in, but look at they're headed out. They're not even looking at you. They're headed out. They come in. They offer you romance. They come in. They take you down. You know, you're doing really good at, at where you're at. They they try to get your money. See, the Ten of Pentacles is reversed, or they they do cost you some money and then they leave. So beware, just beware. I feel like you could be dealing with a very cunning individual, okay? This person is taking action and then leaves. See, he comes in, messes up your, your solitude, gets what he wants, gets, your, gets whatever he wants out of you, and then leaves. See, he's headed out after he gets the money, after he costs you money. He's headed out. So just beware. Now, this is a man or a woman. Um, very self-centered, doesn't even, selfish, selfish, selfish. And I feel like, you know, you guys are, you don't be naive in this matter. Don't be like, oh, I'm not worried about it. This is something I think that you do need to worry about. Don't let yourself be taken advantage of. I feel like there's a, there's a player in the mix. There is, there is a player. Somebody that doesn't have integrity. The page of pentacles reverse is a person that is not noble. They don't, do not have integrity in reverse. They don't even want a plan. They don't have a plan. They don't have any money. So, beware. Beware. This could be somebody that's younger than you. It could be a child of yours or some, some younger person that needs your help. Be careful be careful. I know this is supposed to be a love reading. This could be a partner, a potential partner that comes in and they see that you have your shit together and they're like, ooh, this person can take care of me. Well, that gets boring. Okay, so you're going to have to be logical here. This person will not stick around, whoever it is. And I feel like you guys need to see this from a new perspective with the hangman. You may feel like I'm stuck because I want this romance. I want this love. But you could be dealing with somebody who has a wandering eye, doesn't have any focus, doesn't have any plans for the future, and they need your help in that. And you're, you may be stuck in your own head thinking, you know, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to let it go because I want this love. I want this romance. But the fact of the matter is it doesn't look like it is true. It doesn't lead to the ultimate wish fulfillment. So beware, beware. This is this is 
you must see this from a different perspective. You must. So be sure that you're looking at whoever this person is that comes into your life or is in your life that is that you're looking at it through different eyes. Look at it through the eyes of your three best friends. What would they say? What would they tell you? You know, don't look at it through your own eyes because you're lonely. Because I do see loneliness here with the Hermit card. If you're lonely, if you're single and you're lonely and somebody comes in and they're offering you this, this cup of love, but it seems too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Okay, because they also see how you live. They also see... Um, you know what you have they also see the monetary gain in it that's what i see so beware beware to be logical use your logical mind logical lust okay so is it you're going to be logical or you're going to act on lust okay so be careful be careful it's it's a it's a false offer of love so be careful <laughs> i know i keep saying the the same words but the cards keep keep uh coming out that reiterate it okay there's a lack of you're dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable they're not really offering true love they're offering what they can get at this time so that they can get whatever they can get out of you do you know what i'm trying to say and for those of you that want to flip it no no okay they want a relationship or you want a relationship you want love and that's why you're stuck because you want love. You want love. So I'm stuck. I want this. I want to believe. I want to believe that this is true. I want to believe. But you're dealing with somebody that is immature and has a wandering eye. Somebody that is really emotionally unavailable. And even though you want love, you have to be careful. You want to deal with a third party situation. Is that what you're looking for? Because this, I feel like this, this is somebody that doesn't act with integrity. And it will end in hurt. There will be a betrayal here. So I, all I have to say is, is be really, really, really careful that because I think you, you, that you may get involved with something that, you know, seems like it's love. It seems like it could be, but it's not true. It's unreal. It's not long term and it's going to end in a lot of hurt. There's stuff going on behind the scenes. You're dealing with somebody that is secretive. They're not telling you everything. They're keeping secrets. They like to escape reality. They, they aren't being truthful with you. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, 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 Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn here. We have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, you know, whatever. We have, you can say it's any sign because they're all here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anyway, I see that you are dealing with something that you don't know the whole truth. You don't know the whole truth. Somebody is keeping the most important aspects from you. They are. You they are. I mean, you don't there's hidden forces here. There's stuff going on behind the scenes that you don't know about with this person. So, there's secrets. There's secrets. And I see that you want this love. You want this love and that's why you're stuck. That's why you're not you're not letting it go whatever it is. But this relationship doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It's not, it's like false and it does end. This relationship does end because it's, somebody is emotionally closed off. And, and you know, you, you're reluctant. I can see that you're reluctant to let go. But once you do, you will feel, re, you will feel relief. You're going to have to cut somebody out, cut this person out because it's better to be honest and truthful and protect yourself than to get hurt and stabbed and used and abused. So I feel like you are going, you're being called definitely, definitely, definitely to be logical here and to look at things from a new perspective because there's secrets. You're dealing with somebody who is not, or you will be dealing with somebody who is not telling you the whole truth. They are not. And I think that you will find out, you'll know, you will, be, you will clearly see, you will clearly see that they are not telling you the truth. Justice will be served. Okay, this is, this is integrity. The truth will be revealed. It will be revealed. But whether it's within you, you following your inner guide or whatever, this justice card is, 
about making a decision that's right for you. You will, you are going to have to make a decision with that Two of Wands and the Justice card based on your feelings, based on your thoughts, based on what you know, okay? Because you're dealing, you're dealing with, with a karmic situation that is testing your, your intuition, okay? This is a card of intuition. It, it is, it's testing your inner strength, okay? It's testing your inner knowledge. It's asking you to do the right thing for yourself, put yourself first, to be logical as well. Because, you know, with, with, with the devil, which is ruled by Capricorn, sometimes lust can override. You know, sometimes the need for codependency, okay, it's a card of codependency, can override. You are going to have to make a decision based on what's right, you know. It's, sometimes you have to do things, with a hermit, you have to do things alone to get the right thing, okay. So I feel like you, it's, you have to make a decision this month whether you want to keep your life balanced as it is again with the two of wands and the justice card or do you want to move forward with this relationship whether it's a new relationship or one that you're in that seems a little shady and you may be cutting somebody out i mean the justice is final making a final decision next to the queen of swords you know, she's she's pretty harsh, and she cuts people out pretty quickly. Um, there's no victory and success. There's no forward movement. There's no progress being made with this shady situation, or it will not be made. It will not lead to victory, whatever this is that you have to make a decision on. Whatever you're holding on to underneath here is the hangman. You're holding on to something that either comes in now or you've been holding on to for a while that is emotionally draining that's what I see but it's a partnership okay it's a partnership so hmm. the truth comes out somebody's gonna get caught the truth will come out and you will feel like you've been robbed and stabbed and hurt and stolen from so all I have to say, Capricorn, is be really careful. I think there's an somebody is coming in offering you false love. That's what I see. Or they're, you're with them now, and you're being called to not invest. This is this is unrealistic. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. You are hanging on to something, or you will have put, you will think about hanging on to something that is unrealistic. Whatever this is, you have to make this final decision. I see that this is a heavy decision. It's heavy. But you have to put yourself first. You have to do what's right for you because you're dealing with somebody who is after what you... Monetary gain. They are. It's going to cost you money. It is. It will cost you money. So is that what you want? They see your stability they see your abundance they see that you ha that you have what it takes but you you may want to turn your back on this situation because it may just be a waste of time maybe this person is has gotten out of a relationship recently because this can signify a rebound relationship they see that you're doing good you are doing good you're doing really good in your independence you know you're doing really good at at your business, at your job, you know, in your life. There's a lot of self-respect, you know, your self-confidence. It's just, I'm enjoying life, I'm doing great. This person comes in to sweep you off your feet with a bunch of messages of love, but they're all false, they're all fake, they're not telling you the whole truth. I think that for somebody, somebody has gotten out of a relationship, some relationship didn't work out, so now they're coming after you for comfort. For comfort. But it's not going to last. It's not a... It's, yeah, you give them what they need, it costs you some money, and they get the hell out. You're dealing with somebody that has a hidden agenda. You are. There's no doubt about it. So be careful. Be really, really careful. Is there new love coming in? Perhaps, but I don't think it's true. You know, I don't. And if you're, if you're with somebody right now, you know, 
I see I see that there's 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 trouble. There's there's trouble. Somebody is not telling you everything. So you're being called to move on. This is what the chariot is. It's replace fear with faith and move on. This is victory, success. After you master your emotions and you get in your, your the driver's seat and you head out. You replace that fear, you get in the driver's seat, and you move forward. You keep going. This is a card of control, taking control, being in control. So I feel like this is a month of, of really being logical. You have to be logical. I think that that you know you you are dealing with a shady situation, whether it's newly coming in, or you're in it now, in which you know you probably know the truth, even though you don't want to believe the truth with the hangman. You don't want to believe the truth. I think you know the truth, but you don't want to believe the truth. You want this partnership, but with the two of cups next to the ten of swords, they were together like this. It will end in betrayal. It will end in hurt. Somebody will feel stabbed. It's the end of a relationship. It's the, it will not last, whatever it is. Now, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you should not be watching this reading. You shouldn't be. There's no reason to. You know these readings are love readings. You know these are for people that are struggling. I feel like if you're single, there's an opportunity for a partnership here, and you want it really bad. I want this. I do want this. But there's a feeling of being naive, wanting it so much, not wanting to see the truth, even though you know there's lies. The moon is lies. The devil is lies. The seven of swords is lies. I mean, there's lies. There's lies here. Somebody's after what you can give them, and then they go. That's what I see. There's hidden agendas. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, that's what you want, right? Children. Your love life is being affected by children, however that resonates with you. Now, like I said, this could even be a child that comes in. That is asking for money. This could go so many ways. Like I said earlier, I do believe for some of you there's a child coming in and they've treated you like shit your whole life or when they got older, you know what I mean, because that's what children do in many cases. You know, as they get older, they whatever. And then, you know, now they need something. So just beware. Just beware. Just saying. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Pay attention. I feel like you are going to be sought after for your money. They may come in saying they love you, you whatever. And it could be a child. You know, maybe they're, they're a, a young adult, you know, or whatever. Or this could be a partner. I don't know. Somebody is coming in and they're at their, they're saying, I love you and I want to be in your life again and I'm sorry and whatever. And it ain't true. They get what they want and they, they go right back to their old ways. And that's what I see. Beware. Beware. Let me get you one of these, Capricorn. Now, when I say child, this could a partner can act like a child. Okay? So keep that in mind. You know, you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, is very immature. I saw immature earlier as well. So you could be dealing with a very immature individual who is like a child. They're like a child. So you're going to have to be logical here. But I see that, you know, there could be some... There could be some offers of love that you're tempted to take. You know, because everybody wants, you know, can't think of that song, but oh, I wish I could. I can hear it in my head. It's when the bar closes. You know, the bar closes. Nobody wants to be alone. I don't know what the name of the song is. But anyway, that's what this is. 
I don't want to be alone. I want somebody, and that somebody might not be the right one. So I'm just, whatever. Here it is. Rejuvenation. Get a good night's sleep. Rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit. Whatever that means to you. So I feel like this is a month of being logical, being aware, and making a heavy decision with that justice and the two of wands. There's a heavy decision that needs to be made. It's heart versus mind, okay? I feel like you have to be logical in this situation. I feel like loneliness plays a part. You're doing really good. You want somebody. You want love. Somebody comes in to sweep you off their feet, off your feet, you know, filling you up with a pile of shit, and, you know, you get burned. So just saying, just beware. This reading will not resonate with everybody. Keep that in mind. Bye.